you're one of the people where their, their reputation precedes them in, in this town. And um, it's in a good way. And I realized that even more so since COVID, I mean, we've had uh, probably about five or six guests mention you um, more so than any other directors. It's really nice to hear them say these things that are, are, are you know, Edgar, um, Mark Webb, Zal, Tarayusha. Um, I'd, I'd like you to talk about potentially, give, like if you were to have a, if we were your children, for instance, um, <laughs> what would be some advice that you would say about carrying yourself in this industry because this isn't something that we our teachers all of them could teach us about you have to navigate the waters a little bit differently from project to project you know, over the years but maybe there's more of a general thing and or something you've seen other people do that that you learn from I, I guess it, like all the people you you mentioned are examples I would give of people who um, not only do great work but do it with uh, kindness and do it with um, and are just cool people. I mean, that's that, honestly like that's something that I wish someone had kind of, even though I wouldn't have really known how to take it when I was an undergraduate in college, but I kind of do wish someone had just told me, look, when you're working in the industry, it's amazing what degree of quote unquote success, even if that just means getting the next gig, getting the next job, even if it's, you know, even not even directing a movie and just getting hired on the next set or whatever you're doing. Um, to make a living, how much of that is just being someone that's cool, just being someone that people want to be or not cool like a loop, but literally just friendly and just nice and considerate and 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 kind. The model of being an asshole in order to have control is something that I I think I and all my friends would who make movies would fundamentally disagree with. I think control comes from confidence and control comes from knowing your craft and trusting your craft. I think that a lot of asshole behavior on sets ends up coming down to some notion that there's some mystique you create that is uh, keeping people respecting you and that you have to maintain that mystique or something as opposed to, I know the, I know the story I want to tell. I'm here with a bunch of talented, cool people. We're all going to focus and we're all going to collaborate to make it the best it can be. You as a director do have to consciously, constantly check yourself and make sure you're being empathetic, make sure you're not disappearing into your own head. And you're remembering that these are all incredibly talented human beings who are all trying their best to make this the best that they can. 